everyone. How are you guys? It's so good to see you again. Did you ever think you'd see me in person again? It's been a few weeks. Well, I'm back. I really appreciate you tuning in. And if it's your first time, thanks for tuning in to Jamie's Uncanny Environs. It's so good to see you. I love talking with you guys. Well, as you can tell, I'm in my kitchen. I'm about to prep all these flowers so I can build the design. And guess what? I am going to be going over floral tools again. Yes, I actually created a new video for this and it's really fun. So if you've actually watched my previous floral tools video, I definitely think you should check this out. Plus, I got something so cool. At the end of the video, I am going to be doing a music dance song. Oh, so it's like a music video. But it's going to be applying the floral tools. So make sure you listen to it. And if you like it, make sure you download it. Yeah! All right, I have some gladiolas that I got today. Yes, yes, yes. And what do we do? We take our floral scissors, cut the rib rubber band, get this off, and then we're going to prep these flowers. All right, guys. You excited? I hope so. I hope so. Let's see. And we're going to take our floral stem cutters, and we're going to cut these stems. And again, as I mentioned last time, just real quick to review on this prep, um, you're going to have, go ahead and cut off the stems. And remember, we're going to take off all the greenery, the leaves that are on each stem. So let's do that. It's going to take a minute here, but I know you're going to, I know you're holding your breath to see how many these. But there you go. That's it. You can do this real quick too. You can go ahead and just pull the leaves off like that. And then you don't have to pull everything off at this time. You can do it uh, when you're building the design. You can always make sure it's completely clean. But remember, we do not want the leaves on the bottom of the stem to be showing. So definitely clean that up. And these are the gladiolas. Aren't they beautiful? And I got these. Guess where? H-E-B today, yes. And if you watch my previous video where I'm going around on my bike and singing, you know the H-E-B song. I, wasn't that a good song? Zim actually created that for us. So that's awesome. By the way, each of my buckets, guys, has water and it has some floral life, floral food in it. So make sure, if you guys are getting serious about making a floral design, make sure you get some buckets. And by the way, you can get these buckets right here, the white ones. Um, they're flower buckets too. And I don't think they're very expensive. I'll put the link below. And you, which will be perfect. All right, guys, let's get back to this. All right, and so right here we have some lilies. Are they beautiful? Yes. And actually, these are orange, which is different than what I've been using. I've been using a lot of white ones, so this should be pretty cool. And I haven't decided what kind of design I'm going to make. It's definitely a floral, uh, summer floral design. So you'll have to tune in to my next video to see what I created and what you think about it. And hopefully you can duplicate it or build your own design, whatever you're looking for, uh, for whatever occasion. All right, I think I got these. All right, so let's get these in the bucket now. And again, um, pretty simple. And oh, look, look at these roses I got too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these colors, but I might have to make a separate design with them. I might be able to use the yellow. Maybe use a red, but on this particular, got your flower food, so if you don't have floral life, you can use that, put that, remember we got to soak our oasis. If you haven't watched my previous video, when I'm uh, uh, talking about the different uh, tools you'll need, floral foam is one of them. So when I refer to floral oasis, that's exactly, you know, the big green rectangular cube. Um, that we use to stick our flowers in when we're making the design. This way they'll stay hydrated and beautiful. And if you notice, I do not have a floral thorn stripper on me right now, which I do list in the video what you need. So make sure you get one. I don't know where mine is. So I'm just pulling off the leaves again. I'm not going to let make you guys watch me go through every leaf getting pulled off this. So, and of course, my leather leaf, you guys know about that also, um, definitely, this is such a great uh, piece of greenery to use. You can really use it throughout your designs. Yeah, that looks great. Let me get this cut. Perfect. It's been a busy summer. 
but I am determined to share my floral designs with you before I get on the road. So let's uh, get these sunflowers on the Oh. By the way, guys, um, you might be thinking this is real expensive, but I got these flowers both at Sam's, Costco, HEB. I've been picking them up the last couple of days at different places. So you can get them. And I would say the total amount that I have spent on these stems so far is maybe $45, maybe $50. And if you know the price of an arrangement, this is pretty inexpensive. As long as you can make your design and it looks pretty good, I definitely recommend you do this. Wow, these must be the help here. Uh, oh, beautiful pieces of greenery. I really like Costco selection because you get a lot of different choices. Of course, we're not going to use this in every arrangement, but you can if you want to. I remember greenery is a real important part. So, our 358 rule. Remember, we have three focal flowers, five pieces of greenery, and eight filler flowers. Is that correct? Three, five, eight. Yes. Um, so make sure um, when you're making your design that you have your three focal flowers that you want to use. You can get several different types or you can use one particular flower. Your eight filler flowers will create the harmony and the balance, keep, create the movement and the design. So make sure you have the, uh, the flowers that you want to use for your eight filler flowers. I know a lot of people like to have everything planned out, so maybe our ISTJs and our ESTJs out there. Um, I kind of go with the flow and see where it takes me. Um, I would definitely recommend you do that. You have more fun and you get to explore and, you know, that's the name of the game, right guys? Alright guys, I am going to sign off for now. I'm going to go make my music video. You guys check out everything. Please check out my other videos if you're new to the channel. Go ahead and check from the beginning because I've been creating a story arc. This is season zero. So you're going to find out from the beginning when we started in March to when we made the decision to go ahead and sell our home and go full time RV, which I cannot wait. Um, it's going to be so much fun, guys. And who knows where we're going to end up after um, if we ever decide to stop RVing. But that's so long in the future. Who knows? It's going to be years. We're going to have so much fun together, guys. And Every one of you out there that have subscribed so far, you're you're my first within my first hundred. I appreciate it. my first fifty, perfect. I think we're up to um, fifty. I don't know, fifty six or fifty seven. So I appreciate all of you guys subscribing and watching me. I know you guys have so many options, so it makes me feel so good. And I promise it is going to be a lot of fun. And I will. I promise I will stop with my hand so much. A little bit nervous, but you know how it goes. Anyway, guys, I will see you soon. Check out the video. I love it. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Talk to you soon. Go ahead and prep your flowers, as I've showed you here, and then get ready to start designing. Awesome. See you guys later. Bye. Hello again, uncanny flower enthusiasts and explorers. Welcome to another enchanting Uncanny Environs quiz. I'm your host, Alistair Whimsy, here to take you on a whimsical journey through the world of flowers. Today, we're going to quiz you on the top 10 floral tools every florist or flower enthusiast should have. For those who watched our first video on floral supplies, approach this as an informative review quiz. So, are you ready for our whimsical quiz? Let's dive in. All right. Here's how it works. I'll describe a tool and you try to guess what it is before I reveal the answer. Keep track of how many you get right and share your score in the comments below. Question 1. First up, this tool is essential for snipping stems and leaves. It's sharp, small and fits perfectly in your hand. What is it? If you guessed floral scissors, you're absolutely right. Here's a tip. Always keep your floral scissors sharp. A sharp tool is a happy tool and makes cutting stems as easy as slicing through butter. Question 2. Next, we have a tool that's perfect for cutting thick stems and branches. Any guesses? That's right. Floral branch cutters. Imagine wielding these magical tools, snipping through branches like a wizard casting spells. With a flick of your wrist, you can shape your own mini topiaries, adding a touch of whimsy to every cut. Ready to feel like a floral sorcerer? Let's dive in further, shall we? Question 3. 
This tool is often green and helps you design arrangements by providing a sturdy base for your flowers. It's a bit spongy. What do you think it is? You got it. It's floral foam. Great job, everyone. Remember to soak your floral foam in water mixed with a few drops of flower food to give your blooms a little extra magic. Question four. This next tool is essential for creating structured and secure arrangements. It's used to hold floral foam in place. Any ideas? That's right, it's floral cages. Perfect for those intricate designs. Tip. Decorate your floral cages with colorful ribbons to add an extra layer of charm to your arrangements. Question five. Now, what's a florist's secret weapon for preparing roses for a romantic bouquet? This tool helps you remove thorns quickly and safely. What is it? It's a flower thorn stripper, a handy tool for ensuring no prickly surprises in your romantic bouquet. How are you doing so far? Next, question six. Sometimes you need to hold things together without tape. This tool comes in handy with its sharp ends and flexible body. Can you name it? If you said floral wire, you're correct. It's perfect for creating whimsical shapes to add a touch of magic to your flower arrangements. Question seven. Next up, this tool helps keep your arrangements in place, often used to secure stems. It's green and comes in various thicknesses. Any ideas? That's right, it's floral tape. Perfect for binding stems together. Use floral tape to create fun striped patterns on your stems for a playful twist. Question 8. Now, what item helps you create a strong bond between flowers and other materials? Any guesses? That's right, it's floral adhesive. It's quick drying and essential for many arrangements. Use it to attach tiny charms or beads to your flowers for an extra sprinkle of enchantment. Great for making sure everything stays in place. Question 9. This tool is often sprayed onto arrangements to help keep them fresh and hydrated longer. Imagine you're casting a spell to keep them vibrant and beautiful. What is it? You guessed it, it's floral crowning glory keeps your arrangements looking their best. Question 10. Last but not least, every florist needs a tool to create a neat, clean cut on stems and is often used for delicate flowers. It's sharp and precise. What could it be? It's a floral knife. Excellent guess. I had no doubt you knew the answer. How did you do, uncanny flower enthusiasts? Did you get all 10 right? Let us know in the comments and share your floral tool tips with the community. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more magical adventures with uncanny environs. And be sure to tune in to our next video where we'll quiz you on the top 10 floral supplies every florist or flower enthusiast needs. But before you go, here's Jamie to introduce a whimsical musical video just about floral tools. Enjoy!